Hi, and welcome to the last games you might be missing of 2019. My name is Aran, also known as the Saber Runner, and I've got some games to show you, and one of which I am very excited about. Let's get to it. First up is Ocean Drive Challenge Remastered. Now, when I saw that, I was thinking Outrun. Like, looks like something someone really tried to make, make Outrun. It came out yesterday, uh, so it's a new game, but it's all the same, except I think that maybe with new technology, even though it's still very retro, they they made the 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 view line better. I mean, you can see more forward and easier to navigate. Even though it's still quite a bit hectic. If you wanted a new outrun for some reason, there you go. Next up is Hop Squash. Those are bunnies. And that's what happens to bunnies. If you're familiar with the old game called Jump and Bump, it was a DOS game that you could play with a mouse and a keyboard and up to four players on the same screen, bunnies jumping on each other and squashing each other with a very gory mess. Uh, apparently the developer behind this one actually talked to the, to the developers of Jump and Bump, got their permission, got their blessing to make this one, which is a new and improved version, and it's actually very cheap right now. Uh, for cheap in general, and if you like silly coach co-op games, which are extremely fun, look into this one. This is a bit of an oddity. It's called Nasty Rogue. It actually looks like half Dark Souls, half Warframe, half Minecraft, except I don't, didn't see any building. It's mostly a roguelike that's trying to be Souls-like in a voxel environment, which actually looks pretty good, and it looks very interesting, so I put it on my wish list. So, it actually looks cool. I might try it in the future, if you want a new game which does that. Here's one. And for our last game, I'm actually going to GOG. This is Submarine Titans. If you're unfamiliar, Submarine Titans is an old uh, RTS. What do we have? 2000. And it, what you're thinking, okay, it's a 2000 RTS, so we've played StarCraft, but this is a new one. This actually looks like it took StarCraft and went sideways a bit. You, uh, it's, it's all underwater. Can we see some gameplay? Okay. It's all underwater, uh, and there's, there are levels which you can go uh, with your boats, your, your underwater submarines, and uh, you can control big fleets. And the most interesting thing about it is that you have different factions with each with different units, which is cool, StarCraft did that, but also uh, you don't have to research everything. Every time you research something, it, you take it with you to the next level, and you take your ships with you, and you even have a ship called the Marauder, which you can use to steal other factions' submarines and actually steal their technology, which is awesome. And it's one of my favorite RTS ever, and I'm glad to see it's back and playable. I very, very recommend it. Also, it's like six bucks. If you haven't played it, you really, really should. As always, I have... Uh, curator page, you can go to see all these reviews, all these informational reviews, and follow me will be very helpful. I also have a Twitch channel and a YouTube page, which is, you're probably watching this on, and all the links are in the description. And if you want to, I have a Facebook page at Saberana Gaming that you can also access to follow me, all the things I do. Thank you for watching, I hope you at least enjoy watching these games, and as always, see you next time.